Alright, welcome to the Xbox Cup Series. We are here. Um, Darlington, race 6. And now here's your points going in. We'll at four rookies in the top six. Um, that's pretty interesting. Um, Tope McGee is kind of pulling away, but I probably will not stay. Dustin Davis up to third. Last race's winner, I don't even remember, honestly. Oh, it was Chris Salovac because he gained 18 spots with the win. So, yeah, there's that. And now PNG of Diamonds rounding out the rear. Uh, kind of sucking right now. Our reigning champion. Uh, where is he? My stupid R. Dare you not? I don't even know. Um, yeah, I'm recording as a 2 in the morning. But Dalton Hussey, he is our reigning champion. 19th in points. Kind of struggling. And, uh, so there's that. I don't know why it's fuzzy over here on the recording. But, uh, hopefully you can see it. It's messing with my eyes a bit. So, it's alright. Bend over on the pole. I don't feel like going through the entire grid, so there's that. Obviously, the 43 car glitch. One of them doesn't, have, doesn't get to qualify, but they are still in the race. And we are ready to race here at Darlington. 74 laps. Drivers, stop your engines! Drivers, uh, like I said, it's 2 in the morning and I'm recording this, so I don't really feel like waiting. Peter's been on all day, so I have no idea how it's going to run, because, as you know, my PC sucks. Well, we'll see. So it's Bend over in the 37, and Sniper in the 55, leading him down. Green flag is out. Bendover leads him down through one and two. Stoked Shark actually. Gonna get out the second here. And here comes the 42 sped J Boy. Oh, the 37's in the wall. Oh, there was a wreck in the back, I think. Yep, there we go. The 72 and the 93 have wrecked. And no yellow? There's no yellow. Are they not on? Oh, uh, that is bizarre. There's a lot of cars running the wall. Is there another wreck and no caution? There's another wreck with no caution. Oh, oh there it is. Now it's on. I don't know why there was no caution before that. That is weird, but there were a ton of different wrecks. So, why did it take three of them to bring out a yellow? That's my question. And, oh, that's a hard hit for the 56 of Matt Hussey. That was a hard hit. As we'll see here. The two of Dolphin Salvak hit the wall. Sent the 56 sideways in the contact with the four. Sent him head on in the inside wall. That hit reminds me of, um, I think it was Robert Presley in 2001 at this track. He had a hit like that. It's a terrible hit. Now everybody's coming up her road. Trip McGinnis is the leader. And, uh, I don't feel like waiting through that, so it's gonna. Go ahead and get to the restart. Already more cautions than the entire race yesterday. So that's interesting. And look at that. The top two are the points leaders. The chances of that happening are pretty low because every car is equal. So that's insane. 
But uh, we should be going green with 67 to go. I think. Yep. Trip McGinnis, the leader. Followed by Tote McGee, the rookie. Or both of them are rookies, actually. And the green flag is back in the air. Jeter dog is dead. That's not what I saw. Oh my lord. Okay. He's not the only one that's dead. <laughs> what was that? Someone just plowed into everybody. I want to see this again. <laughs> They're all stacked up. And then everybody's piled in. Oh my lord. So Kyle is flipping. And the 19. Oh my lord. Um. Yeah, he's the one, or. Taser Holman came up into, I think it was Kyle or Matt. And <laughs> big stack up. You know, Kyle's flip looked legit, but then oh, everybody died behind him. Oh my lord. Okay. Oh, well, that happened. PNG of a monkey was probably involved. Let's uh, see if he was one of the cars that flipped. Yeah, yeah, he. I think he was one of the death cars. Oh, <laughs> this game, honestly. Is... <laughs> now, what happened to Jeter Dog? I saw he was slow. Oh, okay. Wrong thing. Oh, did he just like have a problem? Or yeah, it just blew up. <laughs> That's probably the most realistic thing we've seen in our race. Look at all the cars going out of the race. What happened to twenty six? Was he involved? Let's see. Oh yeah. Okay, uh, so this is after the caution. And the 78 plowed in a double zero. Oh my lord, this race is retarded. Oh, it is this. Chaos flipped under caution. Kitty game. I'm losing brain cells for how stupid this race is. Why was the secondary series race so tame and then this is just stupid? I don't get it. Let's try and focus this on. Actually, no, I'm not even gonna risk it. I guess the phone likes to fall. Alright, 61 to go. Rain flag back in the air. We'll probably have it for approximately a lap and a half. <laughs> so, we've only got like 27 cars running though. 28. Nine, actually. So there's still a decent amount of cars. It's gonna be like Gateway. Once they all DNF, there won't be as many cars, and let's just start wrecking up. Oh, Sped J Boy is coming into the pits as he does that. Race leader Matt Tift is in the wall and just gives the lead to Blanket Salovec. And amazingly, there was no wreck on the track. These guys are pushing the limit. I don't think you guys can see it. But they're going 180 in turn one. Blanket salve at gets sideways. No caution still. Here comes the 12 of Jamie McMurray. They're just pushing a limit. Oh, big wreck in turn three. I think that was Jeff Green in the 88 going around. And another big wreck. 
Well, that's great. Um, if you want Rex, this is your race. Jeff Green. Oh, I thought they were four wide. I don't even know what happened. So the 27th at the wall, and Jeff Green slid up. And, uh, man, that's giving me a reference to a certain wreck. Oh, and then, uh, it goes worse. <laughs> oh, my lord. At least nobody plowed in this time. But, uh, yeah, we've had some big wrecks. Oh, oh that's a chat button, I guess. I just learned something new. All right. There's a keyboard button for chat. I did not know that. Sped J-Boy's trying to lap down now. Because he pitted. Or I think he's tail on now. But uh, Yeah, he's tail on. So Sniper's the leader in the 55 there. Alright, so we're going to go back green with what? 55 to go? Yeah. Sniper in the 55 is the leader. Green flag back in the air. Look, there's barely any cars. You can literally see the end of the line back there. Well, at least this race is going by quick. And uh, last race is Demolition Derby, basically winner. Chris Salovec, he's up here. Uh, in position, you know. Anything can happen in these Xbox Cup Series races, as we've seen today. We've had... Probably about six cars that have flipped about five in the same wreck. <laughs> yeah. Chris Salovec's going to take the lead. Look at Jamie McMurray behind him. In the 12 car. Jaden Scott third. But here comes the battle for the lead. Jamie McMurray to the inside of Chris Salovec. McMurray has had a really good career in the Xbox Cup Series so far. There's one car that's smoke. I'm not sure if there was a near wreck or that was engine failure. Smoke! One car's on the wall. Oh, that was a good job by PNG of Diamonds to not wreck his teammate Josh Crash there. Was, uh, that tends to happen a lot in these series. So, Chris Salovec is falling. Look at Checkered. No rear end, and he's running an eighth. I think he's now in sixth. They're just all sliding on the wall. The damage cars might actually have an advantage because they don't get as much speed. So they may not use the wall as much. Because uh, Jennifer Holman in the 82 has taken the lead. See, this is uh, this keeps track of damage and mechanical failures. So that's cool. Jaden Scott looking for second. Easily gonna get it. Well, I say easily, but they're side by side. The 48 will get it into one. And he takes over the second spot. As we've got a decent green flag run going now because all the cars are wrecked out. Actually, we saw 19 on the lead lap, 22 running. But uh, half the field's dead. Jaden's in the wall. And now that's not good. McMurray's going to get back by him for second. Jaden's back to third. Nitch Viscunti's in fourth, battling with the lap car sped J-Boy. I'm not quite sure why he pitted when he did, but uh, that's up to him, and he got screwed over. He should have expected it, let's be real. Zach Hussey is 5th, Dalton Hussey is former teammate is 6th, he actually won the championship last season only to get booted off the team, so uh, questionable team management by Brad Stover there. Uh, Checkered 7th, neither one of them actually have rear ends. Brian Lorenzo is 8th, Eddie Kalegi, I he's 2nd in points I want to say, or is that Trip McGinnis, it's one of them. Uh, he's got 8th, there's ninth. Chris Salovac is 10th. Followed by Matt Tift, Rich Flower. We got Sniper, PNG of Trash, Blanket Salovac, Joey McGrath with no hood, Nick Ocean. Oh! Crashing! Oh, oh Lord. J 
Joey McGrath piles in. There comes Marcos Gordado in the 24. And caution is out. PNG of trash, what were you doing? Uh, was that Sniper's fault, actually? It might have been Sniper's fault. Oh. I don't know. Sniper at the wall. And Did he come down or did PNG of trash come up? But then they just hooked together. Now, whose fault was this? Because... Oh, what am I doing? Wrong thing. We're going to try and figure out... PNG of trash was coming up. Sniper came down. They just collided. And then... Sniper just turned into his quarter panel right there. What was that about? Watch. See a 10, like they've made contact. That was a racing deal. But then watch Sniper just turn into his quarter panel. I have no idea what that was all about, but that caused a much bigger wreck than it should have been. Oh, Blanket Salovec, Joey McGrath filed in. Nick Ocean, Marcos Gordado. I don't think the 22 or 14 got too bad of damage. But, uh, they got some for sure. I don't know what that was about with Sniper. But, uh, he intentionally wrecked him after the initial contact. So, the officials may look at that later after this race. But, uh, definitely some questionable driving with Sniper there. Whether the first hit was his fault or not, that's debatable. But, you don't just turn a car when you know other cars are coming. By the way, green flag. Back in the air with 43 to go. So almost halfway through this race. It's honestly been a pretty exciting one, though. Not going to lie. As Jennifer Holman, in the 82, continues to lead. Jaden Scott right there in second. He's a rookie. And Zach Hussey, Dalton Hussey. As we said, former teammates. And 82's in the wall. Jaden has gotten the lead back. With Dalton Hussey second. He's a reigning champion. He's got no rear end and he's driven that thing up the second. He's showing how he won the championship last season, I guess. The will to run good with the destroyed car. But he's going to get in the wall. So Jaden is pulling away. Nearly a second already. Ooh, 53 is on the apron entering, it looks like. Now his car is pretty clean, all things considered, not gonna lie. The 53 car is still looking good. The 79 is not bad either. Neither is the 12. Checkers on the wall. And Dalton Hussey is falling with that damage. He just doesn't have enough on the straightaways. Mitch Visconti's up to second. Chris Salovec up to third. Might get second to 53 blocks. And the 53 is in the wall. Nearly contact to the quarter panel from the 79. That was close. But Chris Salovec is up to second now. Jamie McMurray right there. Pressuring him. Might look to the bottom. And he does. Inside goes the 12. As Jaden has pulled out to a two second lead already. That car is fast. Chris Salovec's in the wall. Jamie McMurray is going to drive by. Whoa, what happened? How did he lose so much speed? You know how many spots he has lose? Five? Good lord. Oh, Nick Ocean's on the wall. Contact with Sniper. The sniper was just involved in that last track, and here he is, what, fourth? Oh, Jaden's on the wall. You can see McMurray entering the frame. It's down to 1.2 seconds. These guys are really making mistakes that the secondary series drivers didn't make. Ice Phoenix and Josh Crash battling for the oh so important. Well, actually, Ice Phoenix is lapped down, so there's not a reason to battle at all. 
Uh, if it stays green, which it looks like it will, they're going to see lap traffic. So, I don't play a factor. How far back is that 91? It's already 15 seconds back. Oh, and while that happened, the 12 is right there. Jamie McMurray is right there. He's just hounding the back bumper of the 48. And I think he hit the wall and exit in one car sideways. What a save by Zach Hussey. That was a great save. Mitch Visconti's in the wall. He's going to immediately lose second after getting it. Ryan Lorenzo up here. We haven't talked much about him during his career so far, but here's a nice run. There's a lot of drivers that had a just pretty rough season ones. Nick Ocean nearly went around the wall, saved him there back there. There's a lot of guys with rough season ones that have not been off to a great start in season two. The one driver who had a great run in season one, well, I'd say two. Jamie McMurray has had a great start to season two, and he finished, what, third in the points last year? He has been really good. The other one's the 99 of Big Daddy. I think he's out of this race. He was one of the cars that died earlier. Well, a lot of cars died. But, uh, yeah, he is. He won the. Or, no, he got second last season. And he won the 500 this season. So, he's off to a good start. By the way, that was an easy pass for a lead by the 12. But he's going to hit the wall off a of two. Allowed Jaden Scott to close right back up, look to the outside. That may not work. And he's in the wall. And Chris Salovec is now up there. He actually won last race. Could he go back to back? It's very possible. He won last race. There are only like eight cars have finished if I was right. Oh, in the wall hard. Goes to 48. But uh, you got to put yourself in a position to win, though. That's what he's done for almost all of his wins in this series. They've all come with limited cars finishing, but he puts himself in a good spot to win these races. So that's how you can win. And Chris Salovec is showing that again tonight. He's up to second. Jamie McMurray is the leader. He's hit the wall. I think the 79 did, too. They both did, yeah. Coming to 30 to go. There still continues to be cars in the wall every lap. Here's the 44 of Ice Phoenix. Running at a substantial 30.1 pace. Actually, that's faster than the leader. Believe it or not. I think you guys can see that. But, uh... Up 31.0. Now that's a great lap. <laughs> oh, nearly contact. Checkered and Nick Ocean. And we got one car pitting a sniper. I didn't even think about fuel mileage. That actually could be a concern. That legitimately could be a concern for these guys. We know they can go about 20 or so laps. Give or take from the secondary series, so it'll be interesting. And Chris Salovec is in the wall hard. There's Jamie McMurray has just continued to lead this race. Brian Lorenzo has climbed up the second in the 27 car, but now hard hit to the wall. Chris Salovec with a big run. They're on the wall now. Mitch Visconti is actually closing. And the 42 is still a lap down. The 44 is three laps down. 
55 pitted, so if it stays green, he'll get those spots back. But, uh, there's only 17 cars running. And Jennifer Holman in the 82 is now up to second. So they're just trading away spots every few laps up here. Behind the leader. Of course, if they're close enough on gas, it could be a fuel mileage race. So that's interesting. That barely happens. We have smoke on the back stretch. I don't know what happened. Uh, more cars pit. Matt Tift, Rich Flower are on pit road. So, and now more, including the leaders. Zach Hussey is elected to stay out. He'll lose time, but he's gambling for a yellow, which with this few cars on the track, it's kind of going to be hard. He's on the wall hard. And there comes Spad J-Boy. And so I think they've got one more stop left. It's going to come late in this race. Here comes C3 in. And Cypher just wall riding there. So that's a great job by him. And we're just watching these cars get fueled, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that's what they're doing. Jimmy McMurray should cycle out the leader here. As he comes out with a decent gap to Jennifer Holman in second, or what will be second. Twelve cars should maintain his lead. I imagine. Watch out for Sniper, actually. I think he's going to cycle out to second. So his short pitting actually gained him legitimate time. And this is wall riding. But yeah, he's going to cycle second. He probably won't stay there for long because he's got damage. But hey. Him and Jennifer Holman side by side for the spot. He's going to hang on for now. Dalton Hussey in the 39 is there. Jennifer Holman loses a lot of speed in that time. Jamie McMurray has a near three second lead. That's insane. 42 might go a second lap down here. I think he's the card that spun on the back stretch judging by the left side damage. I'm not 100% on that. Jamie McMurray just continues to pull away. Dalton Hussey with a lot of damage to the rear end already. I knew that one. But, uh, he is not doing great. Oh, I say he's not doing great, but he's in second. But in terms of card, like, I don't even know what I'm saying. Jamie McMurray trying to drive away with this thing. He has got a big gap. Actually, where'd the 48 go? He's 10 seconds back. He drove out to a big lead earlier. That's just insane how far he can fall back. Oh, Darlington. Here he is running 13th. Behind Rich Flower. They're not teammates. I mean, you'd think they were, but they're not. I don't know why we're watching this, but there's nothing better. Let's see. I guess I don't know. And Jamie McMurray's actually caught up to the lap car of Sped J Boy. And he's staying in the way for now. He's starting to move up. Oh, they got together. The 42 and the 12 made contact on the front stretch. The race leader. He didn't seem to lose too much. 
But that could be huge in the grand scheme of things. Because it seems like McMurray will still be able to hang on for right now. But Sped J Boy wants to get a lap back. And they made contact! What a save by the 42! Wow. That was a great save, I ain't gonna lie. We saw that already with the three car of um, Zach Hussey earlier. Jennifer Holman's cut the lead down to just under two seconds. And that 82 car trying to hustle it. And the caution is out? There's a wreck. Front straightaway. Dalton Hussey. And this is going to set up a shootout. Everybody can pit. Ooh, that's big. They were going three wide off the corner. Dalton Hussey was on the wall. Came down into Eddie Kalegi. And he just turned him. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was about, but... Uh... I'll, that sets up an interesting scenario. So now, these guys should be able to make it if they pit right here. I assume it's open. So this is going to be crucial pit stops. The field's going to be bunched up again. I'm going to say about 11 or 10 to go. Oh! Wreck on pit road! I cut right back when it happened. The 79 and the 22, that's teammates getting together. We're not going to see all of it because I was skipping ahead. But now watch this. As the 79th entering his stall, gets into his team owner, Chris Salovec, on pit road. Is that going to get the 79 any damage? Is he coming back in? Or is he just trying to get his spot back? He's trying to get a spot back now, so it doesn't look like that damage is going to be substantial to that team. But, uh, that was almost bad. And, looks like he's actually going to be second. Nitch Visconti, third. Nick Ocean. Eddie Kalegi, that should be the top five. And it is. And we're going to have a shootout here at Darlington. This is about to get interesting. Are they going to be able to pass the 12, or is he just going to drive away? About to find out. And we are, should be going with 12 to go for the 12 of Jamie McMurray. And green flag back in the air. 79 staying right with him. Everybody. Uh... Getting the restart, I don't even know what I'm saying. Now, here's the trouble turn, turn three and four. So where they get in the wall the most. But they're not up to speed yet, so everybody, with the exception of a few cars, made it through cleanly. 11 to go at Darlington. Here comes a move from Chris Salovec. To the bottom. Contact! And they're wrecking behind him! That's Eddie Kalegi and Nick Ocean sideways, racing back to the line. Big wreck in three. And there's a battle for the lead. And they're wrecking up front! Nitch Visconti around. Did the 12 get the lead back? He did! Jamie McMurray got the lead back. I had a low power issue on my iPhone. I don't know if that stopped the recording. If it did, didn't miss much. Oh man, it's huge. Oh, there's like no cars left that are clean or like anywhere close to clean. So this wreck all started back here. Nick Ocean, Jennifer Holman, Eddie Kolegi. Nick Ocean at the wall, bounced. This car just bounced sideways. That was weird. And everybody piles in. Still. Uh, 
I guess I need to increase the panic decel or something. At every track, they stop piling in. Then here's the paddle. The wreck for the lead. Nitsch Visconti was trying to clear Chris Salovec and came up. And the 12 is going to get the lead right here, I believe. Look at that. That could be the difference in the race if the 12 can hang on to the track position. As there's even less cars running now. But we still are going to have a shootout to the end. And this time, it's a legitimate shootout. We're going to restart with maybe six to go. A caution very well could end the race, so they got to go for it. How many cars do we have running? Twelve. Green flag back in the air. Six lap dash at Darlington. And we restart on lap 69. Now that's just nice, isn't it? Jimmy McMurray leads the only four real competitive cars left in this race. It looks like. And they're wrecked. There's still a chance for a stupid winner, too. Here comes Chris Salovec, the 12, up the racetrack and in the wall. And that might be his race done. Unless he can make it back up. Five to go. Chris Salovec won last race. We've never seen a driver win back-to-back -back races. And will it happen today? Tonight, whenever I upload this. Coming to four to go. Everybody's on the wall. Oh, is that going to be it right there? There's a wreck. They saved it. Still green. It's not over yet. Salovec trying to be the first ever to win back-to-back -back races. Jamie McMurray's trying to charge. I don't think he's going to have nearly enough time. He's going to have to drive perfect. Three to go. And nobody is even close. It's going to take a monster choke to lose this race for Chris Salovec. He's in the wall a little bit there. 53 clipped as well. 82 of Jennifer Holman might actually take advantage. Get second here. Not yet. Looks like the 79 is doing just enough to win this race. Two to go. Into the wall. It's about the normal hit right there. It's almost a two second gap, but it's going to take a big mess up to lose this race from Chris Salovec. And the white flag is waving. <laughs> One more lap to go at Darlington. And the 53 closed a lot. Definitely not going to be enough unless Chris Salovec just like wrecks. And that's actually a big hit. Can the 53 close? Chris Salovec in the 3 and 4 find a final time. And it's not going to be enough for anybody else. The first driver to win back-to-back -back races in Xbox Cup Series history. It's the 79, Chris Salovec, with his second straight win. And that is huge. I believe it's his fourth career win. He leads the series. So that is a big win for that team, a statement win. Gateway, there are only like eight cars finishing well here. There are 12. But, uh... You gotta avoid the wrecks to have a chance to win. Nah, he definitely stayed up front and did that. That is a good win for that race team. Chris Salovec in the return gets his second straight win. And that is big. And now here's her final results 11 on the lead lap at the end of it. 12 finished the race. Look at that. Every single car is out of the 
I wonder what the chat looks like whenever they all have damage. So it usually reports whenever a car like wrecks. Let's, let's just see here. And maybe I missed something. Eh, I don't really feel like that. But uh, this race is official. Chris Salovec is your winner for the second straight race. It was a good one. And uh, he definitely shows the way after his second straight win. Nah. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.